this other yard and I just brought those two boxes there double stack deals over here this morning <clears throat> there's no bees in them uh, they're for backup this high right here I uh, made it up yesterday made a split there is a queen in there what I did is went in she was really rocking and rolling and uh, filling out that other box and I said it's time to split so I this is what I do I'm into these nukes making nukes I'm going to show you guys how to make these. You can make them for nothing. And uh, you fill these with bees. Fill out that whole five frame. <clears throat> Put them on Craigslist. $100 bill. I've seen guys out there getting $195 for these things. I sell them for $100. Bucks. You can sell. I could have sold last year, year before. At least easy $200 or more. So, yeah, there's money you can make with this stuff. But what I came over here to show you was this beehive stand. Now, I've done all kinds of things. I used to buy landscape timbers and all that. And I had these chain link fence rails, these uh, top rails. Um, and I was looking at those, uh, you know, and I said, man, that, that I got concrete blocks. Those were free. I got the rails free. All this free stuff. I got this piece of wood free. Actually, this piece of wood is the same wood that I'm using to make the beehives with. All right. And what I do, I'll get into that on the next class. But uh, you know, this thing is uh, this box from here to here, is seven inches. All right. So this is about five and a half. So I add two inches to that, which gives me a little bit more. Than the side of that box we're going to get into that later i'm going to show you how to glue them up real easy strong these boxes will outlast me they're preserved i've got a eco-friendly preservative that is a valve spar paint by the way on there there's two coats now that stuff's a little pricey i get it at lowe's it's 30 some dollars 34 dollars a gallon but it goes along you can paint a lot of these things with that but back to the stand here. I've got three blocks here. And what I did, get you a torpedo level. Throw down your first block. Level it this way. Level it this way. Okay? Then you take a top rail and you throw on there. And these, I think, are eight feet. You go down and throw down your other block over there. And you set it on there. And then you put your torpedo on that. And see where you got to go. Get that level. All right, and then when you get that level across this rail, make sure your block is level this way and this way, and that's it. Then you stack up your blocks. You've, you've, you've already leveled your bottom course, so the rest is going to run true. You stack that up, and I cut this board here. I did this in the shop, by the way. This dude, you know, call it, call it, it's 15 and a quarter. <clears throat> then, these rails, the distance between these two rails, because I wanted it inside the block a little bit. Center line, you're looking at, uh, eh, give it 12 inches, okay? 12 inches, 11 and a half, 12 inches. 
and then you can see I put a, a hole down through here 5 16 hole just regular uh, 14 gauge tire wire you know see there it's not really that tight but once you you put it on here and throw a heavy beehive on it that thing's gonna that thing ain't going nowhere so that's that and uh, the the this if you can see on that box over there this came from uh, all this wood actually came from a uh, vinyl fence place and these guys are throwing this stuff out by the pallet loads I mean just throwing it out for the public to get. I was making biochar with this stuff for the longest time. I probably ran 50 loads, made up 50 five gallon buckets of biochar with this material, cooking it down. I'll show you that, how that's done in a, in a future show. But uh, after I got pretty well loaded up with biochar, all my beds and a uh, garden, and I said, well, you know, what else can I do with this stuff? It's free, I mean. And then I came up with a harebrained idea of putting these beehives together and man the more i got into the more i liked it and uh so anyway and this thing by the way you can build this thing with a two by four because two two by four sandwiched up is seven inches and you got a beehive so anyway i'm going to get into that in another class but i want to show you something here see this leaf stuck here don't get this stuff on you folks this is some this you can see this it is sticky no ant in the world is going to cross this stuff. And this product is called Tanglefoot. Tanglefoot. Like I say, don't get it on you. You're going to use, go to Harbor Freight and get you a box of these. You're going to put it on. You're going to reach in this tub. And you're going to take your hand and go right around there and create a barrier there, there, down yonder. And... And you've got an ant-free thing. These bull ants, I call them bull ants. I've called them since I was a kid. They're carpenter ants. But you've got another ant in Florida called the fire ant. And these things will take out beehives, especially weak colonies. This is not, this, this, I set this hive up here. Like I said, there's a queen in here. I left the majority of the bees over at base camp with the majority of the bees, all the field bees over there going in. And, uh... So this is a weak colony, fairly weak colony, but it's going to, I'm feeding it, and it won't be long at all, and that's why I brought those boxes. I'm going to be coming back over here in a week and checking, and as soon as she fattens up, fills out all of those frames in there, she's getting another box on top, and I'm just keep on going on up. Now, if you guys want to just put all your bees, I'm doing this for you guys, the, you off-grid guys, your survivalists, your homesteaders. This is a very cool way to go with scrap material, free material. You buying all this stuff at day and one night, you're gonna get in, they're gonna get into your pocket, I'm telling you. But this stuff here, cheap. You put the wood, wood preservative on this. This is built with two inch material. Alright? And uh so this is gonna last. So and you can stack these on up. Now if you want to just use just stay with this, okay, which I'm going to do, but I sell bees, not many, I used to sell a lot of them, but you can, you can make these things up, this box right here, you can get a hundred bucks for it, no problem, and uh, you can stack these things right on up, you can go up, you can go on up high with them, and uh, I'm going to back up, I've got a bee here wanting to slap me right side the head, but uh, yeah, there's a, uh, there's a good little trick for you right there. And uh, I will uh, get with you later, and uh, we'll get into these beehives. I'm going to show you on the next film how to build the box and get you guys rocking and rolling with bees, because right now, uh, guys up in Michigan, they're probably wishing I could, they could do what I'm doing right now, making, making queens and making boxes. And... Uh, you can make as many of these as you want to. If you want to, you college kids coming out of college and got nowhere to go, and you like nature, this is one of the coolest things you can get into right here. And uh, you can take it as far as you want to go. They're screaming for bees. You can uh, 
You can travel the U.S. with these things. You can go all the way to California, pollinate them almonds. Then you get out of there. You go on up to Maine and Mass, get the cranberries, blueberries. And then you can come on down here with me and vacation in Florida all winter. What's wrong with that? You make a good living. And, uh, yeah. All right. That's it for now. I'll catch you guys on the next one.